Well, today on Project Shop, we got a lot going on here today. Uh, we need to clear out all of this crap so that I can get a forklift in here. We're gonna uh, basically back it in, drive it this way, pick that milling machine up, and get it off that pallet so we can get it working. But before we do that, all this stuff has to move. This table needs to get pushed over to the wall as far as possible, so we got clearance to come by here with the forklift. And uh, all this stuff needs to be moved. Whoa. Steve's over here going through. Uh, we actually pulled out all the tooling and stuff we had for this lathe. Got all kinds of good stuff. Wait till you see what we got. We're going to do a whole video on cleaning this up. Cleaning up all the tooling that's been sitting for years. And uh, bringing this thing back to a proper working condition. And uh, same with this thing. And I got to contact the guy I got this from. Uh, because where it was stored before I got it had some it, it wind up occurring some damage We're gonna get this thing fired up here soon But the first step is getting it down and getting some power to it Okay, well, there you have it. It's been a long time coming to get this thing down on the floor. Um, had to rebuild the motor on it. Cost me $900 to have it rewound. I think it was so expensive because um, I'm pretty sure that motor is reversible. I don't think this is a one, two. Man, look how dirty this thing is. Uh, I'm going to get some um, stuff to put on the rust. And we're going to kind of scrub this down, bring this back to a nice uh, finish. I'm super stoked um, to be able to get this thing down here. You know, I wired it last time, but it never worked. So um, I don't think it was my wiring that cooked it, but it's been so long since I uh, got in here and messed with this. Um, and it's not even really that hard. So this, I believe, goes in here, right? And then this wire, this is the power in. 
So the power comes in, I think it goes in here, back out to the switch, and then from the switch back in there. So it's like a whole mess. But hey, we got a badass machine here, man. This thing does all the functions. It would pretty much do everything a Bridgeport milling machine will do. This thing can swivel. We can actually put spacers on here if we need it to come up. Um, it goes forward and back. This thing turns. We can turn this sideways, turn the head sideways. Uh, these things are just incredible. Um, my first introduction to a milling machine and a lathe was when I worked at a restoration shop. And um, I really didn't know what I was looking at. But I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, man, what is this stuff? And I was a kid. I was like 12 years old. And he goes, you know, this is a mill and a lathe. And basically he said, these are the only two machines in the world, you know, that can reproduce themselves. Uh, and I thought that was incredible. They can make anything. You can make anything on these. Now, obviously, um, a CNC machine would have, well, when it comes to radiuses and stuff like that, cutting round stuff, obviously a CNC, uh, CNC is going to be a little bit better. But with certain tooling, like, you know, a rotary table, we can cut round stuff on the mill. You know, we got some nice attachments for this. Um me and steve went through all the attachments that we have for the lathe and um we got a lot of nice stuff down in this drawer so we're going to take a break here we wind up uh moving i actually tried to turn this table sideways to see just how it would look and it's just too damn long it's a four by eight table um and then the eight foot ends here and we have all this dangling off the end um, so we don't want to lose anything, but we have to start thinking about how we're going to make this, you know, not get too much bigger. Um, I did move it down this way a little bit compared to where it used to be. I actually should have marked the floor when I started. Um, and I thought I had either that rail on this line or the table when it was open on that line because we have some space back here now um like i'm gonna find a new spot i pretty much have to find a new spot for everything um i'm trying to get as much stuff up off the floor get rid of all the clutter go through everything and find a spot for it because if, if something has a home um it's way better like if you look over there in that corner none of that stuff needs to be there there's a home for it somewhere in this shop and we're gonna find it okay and uh we're gonna evaluate everything in here man we're just gonna keep plugging along i'm trying to as i'm building this stuff and moving stuff around i'm trying to go through this stuff and um what i'm gonna do is at the end of the night every night like I'm just probably just going to start doing like one box, you know, or I might even make a video. What do you think about this? I might make a video called what's in the box and we just start pulling out boxes and seeing what's in it, seeing what I should keep, seeing what I should, maybe I should try to sell stuff. But like I said before, I hate putting my number out there because when I tried to sell them AC units, it was just a nonstop barrage of bullshit scammers and um you know it's just i ain't got time for that man i'd rather be in here shooting videos for you guys and uh working on these projects so one of the next projects is i have enough um expanded metal to continue that whole wall and then what we're going to do is continue this shelf all the way down and then we're going to take it all the way down to the end so that I have a nice and we might make it a little bit bigger um, and back here between that post and over there I think what I'm gonna do is another shelf probably just higher than the milling machine like that other one will be up here somewhere and then we can do another one down here where we can have all the milling machine stuff we'll put a nice brackets and make it kind of heavy duty because the stuff for this is pretty heavy and i still got room you know we put a bunch of bullshit steel like if this steel here like this piece can actually go in the other rack but if it didn't have all these edges um 
I could have fit it over here. And um, we kind of took all the things that we had. Got a big old lathe chuck I pulled out of a dumpster. Um, pretty much all this stuff right here. All these big shafts. Uh, that's a boring bar set. Um, I pulled all this stuff out of a dumpster, man. Down there in Miami. We got some big boy things I cut up. But the steel rack, I'm going to have to go through this and evaluate some of the stuff. I mean, I don't know. I'd hate to get rid of some of the stuff. But uh, all this stuff here, matter of fact, we're going to pull up out of here. And I have a, um, I'm going to take those box things I got. And we're going to put them up under these shelves here. Uh, you'll see in a future video. But like up under close. Or maybe back over there in that corner we're gonna have them there and I think I'm gonna put one back here and then all of that stuff can go up on that shelf we'll kind of reinforce it a little bit but uh, and then this is gonna be a next project this this whole little from here to the door um, yeah it's just a whole work in progress man so um, we're I'm, I'm like kind of um, not thinking right right now because I'm starving. So we're gonna take a break, get some food, and then think on what the next, actually we're gonna come back out here and burn some staters. We got the kiln. We're just talking about what we're gonna do and uh, we're looking up online the manufacturer to get the um, owner's manual so we don't cook it if it does work. Still haven't plugged it in, but we'll be right back with that. Okay back out here it's actually freezing in the shop man it's fucking cold outside uh we got this kiln we don't even know if it works yet dude we probably should have plugged it in before we went as far as modifying that thing to fit it <laughs> so what we're gonna do hold on a second um i built this thing years ago to hold bear actually so that the barrels could slide up underneath the second press the problem is that's a saw blade there's a little bit of weld that's sticking out holding us out a little bit so he's going to clean it up a little bit and then hopefully this thing which um i don't know if that's an octagon gonna slide right in. pretty much going to slide in we were just hanging up on one of these nails so yeah that barrel dolly i made that specifically to slide up under here with a tight tolerance um because in my first shot this press was actually like almost as far back as possible and there was no i actually had a forklift at the time but i didn't i couldn't get the forklift down there so i I'll, I'll show you in a second it has a ring where i would hook a chain to it and pull it out and then down once i pulled it out i could hook it to the forklift and go down with it but um yeah matter of fact we're going to try out our 220 extension cord we got and uh if this thing works we're going to have mobile uh film ability Okay, we uh, got this thing sitting down. Now, here's the deal. This thing had some type of weird cone deals that you would put in here. And basically all that does is help latch this. Which, dude, this thing's missing a, oh, this thing slides down. Yeah. It's stuck. Um, what do you need? Hammer? It's either someone's got a set screw, a little tiny flathead, that needs to come down to push this button in. And this here, so basically the little cone that would go in there would hold that and then when the cone thing, it would open that. No man, you're gonna need a micro screwdriver. I got a small set in the other toolbox. But it looks like each set of coils has a switch. This box is something to be uh, 
hopefully it's hopefully these coils are all still attached we'll find out here in a minute we got a cord we got juice we got hopefully nothing blows up i probably should be wearing safety glasses <laughs> Okay. I feel the heat already. Yeah, all right. Hit a switch. I think I'm kidding. Just hit one. You hear it humming? Is that a fan? I hear it humming. I hear something happening. Something's happening. Okay, there's two. Well, maybe you should just wait, wait one three. at a time, man. <clears throat> Do you read the instructions? No. Something's humming. Did we get any instructions? We got two pieces of laminated paper over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I don't know, but it's cold outside, so this thing better hurry up and start warming up. We're going to be roasting marshmallows here in copper in a minute. I don't know. They're all on. I hear something happening. It's humming. That's about it. That's a good thing. Yeah, but these things should be like glowing red. They will. How long do you think it's going to take? A few minutes. No way. Oh, yeah. And those are big coils. I feel like... I don't know if I feel heat working. coming off of it. You know what I, I need is my infrared gun. Where's that? I don't know. <laughs> I got one, but I didn't bring it. Hmm. I need it for the power. Maybe you're you're drawing too much power, dude. Just leave one of them on. Okay. I'm gonna turn. I'm well, gonna let's turn. just let's just leave it and see what happens. I'm gonna turn the bottom. No, nah, leave it. And see one, what happens. One white and the other two are brown. It looks like someone replaced it. Leave it, man. Why are you messing with it? Because I messed with it. That's what I do. Okay, I got the bottom two on. Let's. Let's Not just leave them all. Draw all the juice at once. It's 220. It should crank right up. <laughs> oh, where are those coils I got? I you know. didn't scrap them out, did you? Probably. No, man. I the, feel heat. I got some badass coils. Out of those. Oh, yeah. These things are getting hot, dude. Are they? Yeah, they're, it'll take a minute. This is a slow row system. Uh huh. <laughs> it might take it an hour to get up the temperature. No way. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, good thing we ain't paying for electric over here because. Uh, no, we are. Yeah, well, we in are. some way we're paying for it. We might as well use it, so we might as well cook this fucker up. Huh. Oh, I'm feeling slight heat down in here. I wonder what set of coils is that. Is that button? It's in. It before it was going in and out. Yeah. Then I pushed it in. Now it's stuck in, so okay. we're left with just it being in. Okay. And I don't know what's in here. We should have probably opened this yeah. up. Because there's only one wire going to all these switches. And if that's two twenty, like what's going in She's there? Humming. It's making weird noises. I feel like I need to put safety glasses on. <laughs> you never know. You could have sold us a lemon. Well, looking at it, it looks like it would be pretty simple to recoil this thing. Yeah, it would. And I mean, other than the coils, what could go bad? A stupid switch? Or whatever might be in this thing. We have hundreds of them, whatever it is. Yeah, this thing's definitely humming away. Oh. I'm feeling some heat. That coil's hot. They're all three on. Maybe we're supposed to power one up and then another one and then another one. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. I would think these coils would just instantly get hot. Oh. Huh? What do you think? 
I thought I seen a break in the coil there. But I think it's just mm -hmm. stretched. Oh no, she's getting warm. Did you find the uh, owner's manual online? No. Maybe it'll tell us how long it takes to warm up. I mean, if this thing takes a long time to heat up, we'll have to preheat this thing. Throw some copper in there. As long as we're doing it. Burger chop bucket. Here, let's put this in there. <laughs> So we got a chart here and it tells about the stupid little cones that are supposed to be in there. I don't know if that's going to come through on this camera. We don't need any cones. That's, that's for other people. But here is a uh, um, cone numbers yeah, right. and temperatures. So apparently this thing will go up to 2,000. 257 degrees. Ours goes to 3,000. Where do you see that? I don't see that on the paperwork. I just said it. We ain't got no problem. <laughs> so I just want to go to 3,000. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> Looks like some type of bowl. Roll with me, man. No way. We got spacers. Uh, okay, look. I'm going to look this up now. Maybe we'll have a seat. We're going to be here in a minute. Man, there's hardly any heat coming out of this it's, thing. It's, it's coming. I think he sold us a lemon. <laughs> no, nah, it didn't work. There'd be, if it was blown somewhere, there'd be black spots from a, blow, a blowout. Right. You'd see it. I mean, is and there it any... Would, it would go into lamp mode. Is it there a be, way to dial it up? No, man, you just turn it on. That, that thing we just... I'm going to turn these bottom two off. The thing we just Let's see if up. that top coil does something. Okay, this is a model. This is a model. We're going to let this thing warm up a little bit, and then we'll get back at it. This is a model. Can you let me go get the big boys? Those are the little ones. All right, so there, here's where we're at. I put the lid back on, <laughs> and um, I watched the video, and the lady was, like, warming her kiln up. Man, she was hitting one switch at a time. An hour apart, man, we ain't got time for all that. So <laughs> what we're thinking about doing is we pulled a bunch of these heating coils out of a, uh, okay, a bunch of AC units. We're going to hop this bitch up and um, yeah. we're going we're gonna to be cooking some shit. So we're going <laughs> to, we're probably going to have the only hot rod at kiln you ever seen, but uh, we're going to be uh, melting some stuff. So we're going to figure out how these coil work and uh, how we can get them in here. Um, we're gonna line a bunch of extra shit in this thing and really burn this shit down, we man. Oh, yeah, we got more. Yeah, we need all the coils, bro. That's gonna do the job right there. <laughs> so, this thing here, person we got it from had it sitting outside, I guess, and um, it's got moisture, it's cooking out the moisture right now. Um, I mean, there's heat coming out of it, but it ain't, it's not impressing me. We need to, we need to have this thing fired up in a couple yeah. minutes. Um, we're gonna line the bottom with these, okay? But apparently, these things like if we're gonna use this, right. I guess we should start like hours before we're supposed to. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's getting warm, so I can't say that it doesn't work. But I don't know how good it's working compared to what it's like supposed to be doing. And apparently, there's. I wonder if that's what this is. Is that for that? You <laughs> shove that in there. Oh, it thing. does something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a nut sack, dude. <laughs> um, so, yeah, hey, take this off. Let's open this up real quick. I want to see him side. All right. I got to I gotta plug these in to see. Yeah, let's plug them in. Are these 220? Those see, are 220? They're whatever you want to put through them. Don't matter. As long as we don't blow the fuses. Oh, hold on. I'm set you down on the kill. Trip the breaker. Woo. Oh, whoa. whoa. It's getting hot in there now, dude. I got a face full of steam. Yeah. Hold on. Just cooking it out. Yeah. Woo. We're still going to line that thing with these. Hell yeah. The whole bottom. 
You feel oh, that, that heat? Shit. I mean, it's getting hot. That ain't shit. It's hotter than it was. Pour some gas in there. Man. All right, look, take that spacer out. We're just going to drop this down. Spray. We don't need to slowly heat this shit up. What spacer? Move, move that, that spacer. I'm going to let this thing just drop down. Hey, man, what'd you oh, do that sorry. for, bro? What the fuck's wrong with I you, man? Said <laughs> I didn't think it'd break. Like, glass. It's ceramic. I didn't, was it hot? I thought it was hot. Oh. I didn't want to grab it. All right. We got a hundred more of them right here. Here's one another one. It's getting a little bit warm on the outside. Yeah, so apparently these are now. slow warm. Well, I mean, disappointing. It it took that lady fucking four hours to get hers up to temperature. Yeah. I'm gonna watch some more videos. I've no, I know nothing about these things, so um, maybe this is just the way they are. You got to start them up an hour, two, three hours before you're gonna do what you're gonna maybe do. You're just never supposed to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. No. Yeah. They might jack my rent up, dude. <laughs> How are we gonna plug these in, dude? I'm interested okay, in this. Here, look. This is what we do. If you look at how these run, uh -huh. see this? Uh, they got this. This is a temperature sensor, and it we goes in here. We don't need that. No. Well, how do we no. hardwire it? Look, look. We're gonna take. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just take that off of there. We need that Ridiculous wire. bullshit. Here's here's what we do. We're gonna just go across here, and. See how it's, they got it's them It's basically jump? just like short circuiting shit. That's all we're doing, man. And we're going to light all four of these babies up. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Let's see really how much juice these things can make. Hmm. We got some bigger ones. I've got two of these big boys. Okay. And we've got three of these or four of these. Let's take, let's take them out of that shit and wrap them around the bottom of this thing. Want to? Well, let's let, let's plug that thing in and light it see up. See what it does. All right. Do we have to put? We're can gonna, we just put one ten to it? Does it need two twenty? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it both ways. I'm gonna go see if I can't find my uh, thermometer. Let's see. What Dude, I can smell that from here. All right. So here's the here's the uh, craziness we got going on. We're testing another coil. I put that on that thing. We just basically gutted all the wires off thing and <laughs> hardwired it to it. Hey, I wouldn't touch that. It ain't grounded. I'm not touching it, dude. I'm it just. It ain't grounded. Um, so it says it was 220, but I guess it's splitting the 110 to 110 to either side. I'm not sure how it works. I'm not an electrician, but we got um, She's getting more hot. heating coils. I'm how long do you think that'll take to heat up? It's already hot. I could light a cigarette. I could out. feel it like up here. Yeah. This thing's steaming away. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's that, getting hot. Like the outside of this thing is. That thing's a joke. I can. I can barely touch it. Why don't you stick your hand in there and, and <laughs> touch it and tell me how much of a joke it is? Uh, Whoo! Oh shit! That's hot steam. Okay. I don't see this thing over here. I don't see it glowing yet. Yeah, so that's a joke too. It's hot as crap. Here it comes. I think when them things are in there and it's sealed, that's where it's gonna get its heat. I don't think we're gonna be able to cook these big staters like I thought, so what we're gonna have to do It's called fire. Is build a fire in the middle of that big fucker and just burn it. Yeah. I do got the rosebud attachment. What I'll do is on this one here. We'll hit this with a torch since it's already up in the press. Yeah. And uh, Steve brought his big pneumatic, uh, what is this, an air hammer? Air chisel. Air chisel. And yeah. uh, we'll hit the back sides with this. Yeah. I got a lot of comments saying hit it with the air chisel. I'm not too confident that it's going to move these. Steve thinks it will. Oh, yeah. I mean, it might do something, but I could see that thing just kind of digging down in there and, and wedging that copper and um but hey we're gonna try i don't know we're gonna mess around with this uh stuff here for a little bit longer try not to electrocute ourselves, and then uh, probably call it uh, a night because do away with the strip and see if it helps what strip this power strip 
Well, I mean, if it was going to overpower the power strip, it would have popped the breaker. Plus, we got, you know, 50 yeah. feet of cord here. I don't think that is made to get red hot. It's going to be in your house. You can't be in there cooking shit. You might burn down the whole house. <laughs> I could smell it, dude. I, I mean, I can smell that from here. We need more power. What are we going to do? Let's 480 or something? I mean, how much more power do we need? Let's 220 into it and see what happens. You can't hook 220 into that no, one. You can't. Just hook them both up. That way you can do 220. I don't know. I'm disappointed. <laughs> what else have we got? What's our options? Fire, propane, waste motor oil, something like that. Oxygen and acetylene. Yeah, but we can't be burning. Oxygen and burning all that gas all the no. time, dude. Uh -uh. I'd rather burn electric. We need to figure out how to get a hotter kiln. Or the lady, it took her four hours to get hers up the temperature. Dude, I'm not going to be here in four hours. We ain't sitting around. I'll have to start this thing up in the morning. Tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. my safety glasses on uh, just in case something blows up in my face um, here we go bam nothing blew up we must have did something right all right let's check some voltages now there should be no voltage coming to this uh, phase converter at the moment Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. We should have two forty. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? Should I hold on? Should I turn this by hand? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. That seems like a more a better way of doing it than just yeah. jamming it in gear. Okay, we're in gear. Uh, we're unlocked. We're high. Oh, look at that. She's spinning, dude. 
800, 900, 1,080, 1,200, 1,500. See, the same system that's on here is what I want on my wire stripper. So when I pull back on that handle, we start sending some copper into the wall, bro. 